Hi, this is Avara from Scrappy Mania. Today I'm going to create a layout using that that quilling Prima stamp that I did. So in my in a prior video, and I'll put the link below on in my description box, I showed you how to create this doll using some simple quilling shapes, some strip of paper, some use a little bit of paint for the hair, and I used a Prima stamp. So one of the new Prima stamp, and this is a um, Lorena. So I, I stamped it in a piece of paper, um, and then I fill in the dress and the shirt and everything else with quilling strips. So please refer to my tutorial, and I'll show you how to create this, and I put a little bit of lace on the bottom. Then I, what I want to do is I want to create a simple layout. So I, I'm taking some glitter paper, because I do have some glitter on her dress, and I'm going to lay that as my foundation. Then I'm going to take a cream card cream piece cardstock because I want the emphasis to be on my doll and the other embellishments that I'm going to create. So I do want to kind of have my doll stand out. So that's why I'm going to use a neutral background so that way the emphasis will be on my doll. And then I took a piece of paper. Now I ran out of this glitter paper so that I didn't have any more and I wanted to create a mat that had the glitter on the outline. And then I wanted to put this cream color um, photo mat on top. So what I did is I took some of my nail polish and I applied it on the um, the cardstock and then I placed my mat and it just looks just similar to the paper below. So I'm going to place that there in this here. Now th let me show you what I'm planning to do. Inspired by Hero Arts neon colors, I decided to buy some neon paint from Walmart. So these are very cheap. These like a dollar sixty-seven, and I bought some neon paint. And then I have these foam um, stamps. These were, I believe, was from Heidi Swap a long, long time ago. She came out with these foam stamps, so I bought these. And I'm going to use this with my with my neon paint to make to put like flowers embellishments going this way. I'm also going to see how I'm going to place some of these stamps. These are stamps that I purchased. Um, these are a dollar stamp and then these were 25 cent stamps that I got at Joann's. I want to see how I'm going to sprinkle that around my page. And then I'm just going to put some lines here for journaling. But that's pretty much it. It's going to be very simple. So I'm going to start with this page first. So first I'm going to go ahead and cut some wax paper and I hit the camera. That's why it's shaking. but um, It'll stabilize in a second. And then I'm just putting some black. I'm taking some of my sponge, makeup sponge, and I'm using that to apply the ink on these stamps. And these foam stamps are perfect for paint. I really like them better than using rubber stamp or acrylic stamp. The foam stamps are kind of made for paint, in my opinion. So, And they're actually very reasonable. So if you go to any craft store or Kmart or Walmart or anything like that, you will find these stamps are pretty economical and they come in a lot of shapes. So as you can see there, I'm just putting the bold pink color. So the big pink flowers are majority, of, uh, it takes up the majority of the page. And then I'm just putting some other flowers, some of the black, um, because it looks good when you use neon colors and you use black. It really kind of makes it stand out nicer. And then I'm just putting some of these leaves around. Just keeping everything on a diagonal. And I'm not putting, I'm not going to put any stamp on the upper left or the lower right side. It's all going to stay up in a di diagonal angle. Unfortunately, again, I'm using iPhoto Boot or the iPhoto Boot in my on my Mac to record this video, and I must have triggered the mouse because it wasn't it wasn't recording when I was finishing the layout. But you did see that I went ahead and did a lot of the stamping. So let me walk you through the rest of what I did. Um, I went ahead and took uh, my ruler. So I have a gel pen, a ruler, and I measured it out so that I have an even spacing between the edge and my line. So I put the ruler and I just used my 
my gel pen and made lines. And then notice that the the areas in where the flower kind of went past the line, I kind of skipped it and then made the line on the other side. Same here. And same as you can see here, I skipped and then created a line. And same with the date. Now I didn't do that here, but it still looks okay. So then the um, after I did that, so I lined it, I put it on my um, base cardstock. I mounted my my um, photo mat, and then this is an old tag that I have that I bought a long, long, long time ago, and um, it said special. So what I did is I added these um, moments, and what I use is my making memory and it's just a bunch of um, you get alphabet that is magnetic and you just put it on that stamp see these magnetic stamp alphabet and this is the one that I use that I spell these moments so that's what I did and then these stars are some ones that some some stars that I have when I create a lot of embellishments that um, this was from another project and I had extra stars lying around and I thought they went very well with this layout. I laid my my um, Prima doll and I made sure that when I laid her down that the tip of her dress was right around where the same. The world always um, looks brighter from behind a smile and this was part, this is the saying that I, from this 25 cent stamp that I got at Joann's and then I used this noted I cut it out and I put it in a strip of cardstock and I put it here and it says noted and I put a star and then this is from an old um, stamp as well that says life and this was uh, I created this embellishment some time ago as well I pulled it out and I thought it fit very well there Okay, then the date stamp, and that's pretty much it. It's very simple. I didn't want to really go too much in the embellishment. When I do put my photo, I will do some journaling around here. I'll put the date here, and there's my layout. So I hope you enjoyed it. So let me give you a closer look at all the layers. And I really like the neon color and the inspiration to create this bright layout came from Hero Art and their new neon shadow ink line. I do not have the shadow ink line, um, so I decided to try it with paint and I think it came out pretty nice, so I hope you like it and I have inspired you to try this technique and thank you for watching. Bye now.